morning everyone and welcome back to my channel i hope you've all had a really good week you'll have to excuse the state of me i've just got up um and me and carl have been out for a run for those of you that don't know carl tore his achilles tendon back in october so he's obviously been a bit out of um, doing any running or anything like that since then but he's recently been told by his um, rehab person <laughs> that he can start running again um, but do a bit of a program and walk run so we've been out twice now um, and he's got to build up to 20 minutes steady running um, he's been doing really well to be honest and we ran for 10 minutes, walked up a really steep hill for two minutes, and then ran the rest, which was eight minutes. So he's getting there really quickly, actually, and his foot, he's saying, feels fine. So that's good. And it's a nice little blowing of the cobwebs off in the morning for me as well. So, and it's nice to have some company on a run for a change. So today, because I love filming these videos so much, and I haven't done one in a few weeks, I thought I'd take you on our day with us, because we have an exciting day planned, um, or I think it's exciting anyway. Um, we are going to the beach for the day. I've been wanting to do this for ages. There's something that being by the sea that I absolutely love. When I used to live near Portsmouth in my flat, which you didn't see because I rented it out just a few months before I started my YouTube channel, um, I was only about a 10 minute drive from the sea and I absolutely loved just walking along the seafront. So we're gonna go back there, we're gonna go to South Sea and take Arnie with us and it'll be his first day at the beach. So that'll be really interesting to see how he handles the waves. So I will obviously vlog our day and you'll get to see his reaction to the waves as well. Um, I think he's gonna be a bit of a scaredy cat to be honest. But first of all, I'm going to make some breakfast before I jump in the shower and I thought I would show you because I posted this on my Instagram stories. If you don't follow me on Instagram, I'll pop it here. <laughs> um, yeah, I posted it on my stories last week and I got a few people ask me how I made it. Now it's a baked oats recipe and actually I can't take credit for the recipe. I did get it from Gemma Louise Miles youtube video so if you don't follow her go give her a follow um on youtube and yeah she does some really good recipes um i think she gets them from pinterest and i loved this baked oats recipe i've never done baked oats before but i've always liked the look of them and wanted to try it so this one was amazing and obviously i've got nothing to compare it to because it's the only baked oats recipe i've ever done but it's literally like a cake for your breakfast but it's healthy so i'm going to show you how I make it. Now I've got all my ingredients, I've got all my ingredients out here. So we've got oats, um, I pop an egg in it. This recipe that I'm gonna make does make two, um, cause I've got two of these ramekins here, one for me and one for Carl. So I do 50 grams of oats each, and then one egg between the two of us, half a teaspoon of baking powder. I put a about two teaspoons of chia seeds in there. My sweetener that I have, I forgot to get Truvia, which is what Gemma uses in her video, but I put a bit of maple syrup in it. I didn't really measure it, I just kind of winged it with this. So I'll show you how much I put in. One banana, obviously the riper the better because um, the more ripe these are, the sweeter the banana is. And then I sprinkle some desiccated coconut on the top. And did I mention the jam? The jam, I put a teaspoon of jam on the top of each one, which you'll see in a minute as well. And it's so good. I have also put the oven on at 200 degrees, um, ready for these to go in. So that's warming nicely. And I'll show you how I make it. I am also attempting to do a reel of this to post on my Instagram page. So if I've been successful, then it would already be up on my Instagram. So go and check it out on there if you want a bit of a recap. And I'll put in the comment, um, I'll put in my caption below um, the quantities of everything that I've used. And I'll also do that in the description box of here as well. I didn't really measure the maple syrup but 
as you could probably see, I just poured in however much I sort of thought because there's not really any liquid. The only liquid in it is from the egg and the maple syrup. I just gave it enough liquid so that when I blend it in the Nutribullet, which is what I'm going to do now, um, it kind of gives it enough liquid to blend. Um, but not too much so that it's really, really runny. Um, but we're going to bake it for 20 to 25 minutes in the oven anyway. So I'm going to blend it. So I've got it all blended and I'm just going to split it in between these, these two ramekins here. I just bought these from Sainsbury's last minute. Um, and yeah, just split them between the two. Um, and don't worry when you're pouring the mixture in if you think it doesn't look enough they do rise in the oven um, really nicely which you will see in a second there we go so i've just popped um a teaspoon of pr a preheat teaspoon of jam in the middle on both of them and then sprinkled desiccated coconut and now i'm going to pop them in the oven so they are in the oven i'll leave them for about 20 i'll probably come and check on them at 20 minutes and gauge if they need to come out or not and then I will leave them to rest for about five, maybe 10 minutes because when we had them the other day, they were really piping hot inside and a bit too hot to eat straight away. So, and actually Gemma does recommend leaving them to rest for about 10, 15 minutes. We were just being impatient. Um, but yeah, I will leave them to rest for about five, 10 minutes today. And then I'll show you what they look like when they come out of the oven. You got wet paws from being outside. We need to dry you off before we go to the beach. We're going to the beach, each, let's go get away. Hey, hey, what are you gonna say? <laughs> you excited, Arnie? Going to the beach. Going to the beach. <laughs> and there's the finished article. Look at them, can you hear that? Sizzling away. Yummy. So that is 20 minutes I left them in the oven on 200 degrees. Just wanted to show you, look, such a nice cakey texture inside. If you have a sweet tooth like me, then this is the perfect breakfast for that. Um, you could even have it as a dessert or a snack or something. Um, it looks really naughty, but it's really not. Bon appetit. So I'm pretty much ready to go. I've just washed my hair, straightened it so I feel a lot better now. And I just wanted to show you, I'm just finishing off my makeup. I've done my, my face and everything. I just wanted to show you a combination that I'm really loving at the moment. It's really simple, but it looks really nice for my lips. So I'm really loving the stripped, obviously Tropic skincare products, um, the stripped lip liner and the rosewood lip fudge i think it's just really lovely and rather than wearing a lipstick i really like this because it's low maintenance you don't have to think like sometimes if you go out to eat and stuff and your lipstick wears off a little bit and then you're just kind of left with the lip liner around your lips i feel like with this you can easily top it up with a lip fudge just like a lip balm and just pop it on your lips and it looks really good and it's super easy to maintain so I just thought I'd show you what it looks like. So when I line my lips, I don't overline or anything. I just follow the line of my lips. <laughs> and I really like this colour because it's really natural. It's a really natural colour and would suit anybody. And then the lip um, fudge in Rosewood is this colour. So again, it's a really natural colour and I do just take my finger and apply it to my lips. And I did that without a mirror, just using the viewfinder. I think it's really effective. I posted an Instagram picture not that long ago. And a lady asked me what colour lipstick I had on. I was like, oh, I'm not actually wearing lipstick. And it was this combination. But yeah, and then I can just top it up. Put I won't bother taking the lip liner with me. Um, because the lip liner really stays put. Um, but the lip fudge I will take with me. I'll pop in my handbag. And then I'll just top it up throughout the day as I go. The sun is beaming through. Can you see that? Really nice and natural. 
but I think a little bit of colour on your lips, whether it is a lip fudge or a lipstick or a lip glaze, whatever you like, or even just a clear lip fudge or a bit of lip balm, I think just brings it all together. Ready to go and take Arnie to the beach. So let's go. I think Carl's getting him together and getting his little harness on him. I'm really excited for it. Can't wait to see his reaction. I think it's gonna be a bit underwhelming because I can't see him going in the water at all, but we shall see, we never know. The sun is shining, so let's just keep our fingers crossed that it stays this way. Also, my outfit that I'm wearing today, if you're interested, this linen shirt, I'm absolutely loving these linen shirts at the moment. I got them from H&M. I got this white one, and I got a blue and white striped one that if you, again, you follow me on my Instagram, you'll have seen that I posted um, the other week. My jeans are also from H&M. I'm absolutely loving H&M jeans at the moment. And then the controversial, part of the outfit I think is these sandals I got them probably a couple of months ago from June and I saw them last year um I think it was Ruby Holly she wore them with jeans she wore them with dresses last summer but they were all sold out so when I saw them come back into stock this year I was like I'm gonna get them early um, and I put a poll up on my Instagram saying do you love or do you hate and I think 90% of people said they hated them, but I really love them and I'm wearing them for the first time today on the beach. I think they're practical, but in my personal opinion, I think they look quite nice as well. But they are a bit of a dad, dad style sandal. So dad, what do you think? Practical? Like them? <laughs> but yeah, that's what I'm wearing today for the beach minutes away from the beach and it decides to chuck it down. Good job I'm not wearing shorts. <laughs> <laughs> it's because you're wearing shorts that it's raining. Oh has it stopped already? Oh, yeah. Hopefully it was just a shower and not gonna come to anything. There's a few grey looking clouds but I'm keeping these crossed. Somebody's excited. That banging noise is his tail on the car. Are you excited? We're at South Sea. We're here. Dad's just getting the parking ticket. Just paying for parking, then we'll get out. Exciting stuff, isn't it? noises <laughs> It's in my birthday, yeah, cause I gotta say You're looking like a gift for me Wrapped up nice and neat, baby Get in my way now, don't be shy We'll be here dancing day and night Get in my groove now, don't be shy Cause I got this is
It's not going anywhere near that water though. But I don't think he's too phased by the noise. Honey! Honey! Come on! <laughs> he's like, not likely. Honey! Come on! Sure, are you, buddy? You worn out? Are you worn out? <laughs> Loving it though. He looks knackered. Can't handle all the excitement, can you? There's one out in there. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> oh, it's not that worn out. Oh, maybe he is. <laughs> So, hopefully you can hear me. Um, but yeah, we took a bit of a walk along the like promenade for a fair bit. We got some food, we got a loomy wrap and some chips to share. Um, so he's been for a bit of a walk already. So yeah, I think he's quite worn out, but he's not as scared of the water as I thought he was gonna be. But he's still running around now. Honey! Yeah, hopefully this will wear him out and he will sleep well this evening so that we can watch Line of Duty because you'll be seeing this the week after the final Line of Duty has aired. So we will all know who H is, fingers crossed. Um, if you don't have a clue what I'm talking about, then make sure you catch up with Line of, Ju Line of Duty um, series. Um, but yeah, hopefully he'll be sleeping so we can watch that all the way through. <laughs> So we are in the car on our way home and we were so lucky with the weather as you saw it was chucking it down before we got to the beach and then it chucked it down when we got back in the car about 10 minutes into our journey back didn't it? And it stopped again now but we were so lucky. We spent a few hours at the beach, we had some food, Arnie had a run around as you saw, he loved it. We didn't get him in the sea, he got his paws a little bit wet, but he was quite nervous. And just after I turned the camera off, this lady came up with her puppy. I don't know what it was. Was it like a cockapoo or something? Just a scruffy little thing, right there. It was, well, it was scruffy because it, it was all wet. This puppy was a bit braver and had been in the sea. Um, but, um, oh, rest my elbow on them, my arm's aching. This 
puppy came running up to Arnie and he got a bit nervous because he was off the lead and he did get a bit nervous and this puppy just wanted to play and he was chasing Arnie and Arnie was trying to leg it away from this puppy and then ran Yel up. Yelping. To, he was yelping, yeah. This this puppy was only chasing him, friendly, and then ran up to you, didn't he? Oh, it was just wanted protection, I think. Um, but bless him, I think because he's not used to being off the lead, he's been let off a few times now around other dogs and he had that similar reaction before. So I think we just need to get him off the lead a little bit more. Um, but yeah, he loved it. He's absolutely shattered now. <laughs> he's just looking at me. <laughs> absolutely shattered we can always tell because his eyes go so bloodshot when he's tired look at him don't feel like you have to keep your eyes open for me you can't close them look at him have you had a good time <laughs> he's so tired go on go sleep again he hasn't even got the energy to lick my feet <laughs>